Hi, this is Vinay from ARL. Today we will explore how a container shipping line and a container depot can work together in a digital way by using ARL's gate executor platform, which consists of both a cloud part and a smartphone part. The first step is to digitize the booking release process from the shipping line to the container depot. This, this is an optional step but it will replace that the shipping line needs to inform and give approval to the depot in advance as to which containers to receive and which containers to release to customers' truck drivers. This can be digitized by the shipping line generating EDI message, so-called Copan message to the depot, sending it to the depot. And that means that when the truck arrives at the depot's gate, the depot can search for the release number or booking number from the shipping line in order to validate that this truck has been granted permission by the shipping line to use the depot facilities. Let us have a look. So what we see now is the cloud parts of Gate Executor, and we will now simulate that a truck is arriving to the depot in order to pick up an outgoing container. We will start the Gate Executor app. So this app is used by the clerk in the depot, standing at the gates, receiving trucks and containers, and validating that this transaction can be been approved by the shipping line before sending the truck into the yard handling cranes for either picking up or receiving a container. We will now search for the shipping line booking number. In this case, we assume it is TT2045, release number or booking number. And we can see that this is a approved gate out move for a 40 foot dry container for customer Metro. So uh, the truck driver has provided this booking number when he arrived at the gate. The clerk typed in the part of the, of the release number, booking number on the smartphone app and the release instruction announcement message is picked up from the smartphone. And we can see that the customer has already been updated. When the truck has been loaded with a 40 foot dry container, the actual container number has to be recorded by the depot clerk. And I will now start the OCR scanning feature on the depot app. That means that my smartphone camera will open up and pointing the camera to the corner of the uh, container number, we will automatically pick up the container number. You'll see a little yellow box appearing very quickly. And now the container number was picked up. There's a few more details to be added. For example, the clerk uh, will now do a quick inspection of the container and indicate whether the container is sound and healthy. And this case is clean. And we will capture the name of the trucking company and the license plate of the truck. This can also be scanned via the OCR scanner, in this case, which is typing it from the keyboard. And in case there is some damages existing for this container or alternatively releasing an empty container and you want to document that it is in some condition, then you can make photographs of the container. You can open the doors and make photographs from inside the container that uh, it is light proof. We can make notations on the container need be and give verbal details. And all this is now, when confirming the move, is synchronized to the cloud. So we will go back to the cloud here, and I will refresh the screen, and we will see that a new container number will appear. It is received. And based on the setting setup that has been done in advance, the fact that this actual container number has been now released on behalf of the shipping line for this particular release number, booking number, an EDI message is sent off, is generated and sent off to the shipping line automatically and updated in the shipping line's in-house tracking system automatically. So this means that within something like 30, 45 minutes, the shipping line can check their in-house tracking system, and this move has been recorded automatically. The EDI message, by the way, looks like something like this. This is an example of an EDI message, so it's not meant for humans to read. It is meant for two computer systems to interact with each other automatically, so that all this happens without any human touch at all. So straight from the depot clerk's smartphone, Android smartphone, to the shipping line's in-house tracking system without any, any human intervention whatsoever. On top of the 
EDI message, the, the cloud system is also generating an interchange receipt. So that is a human readable document. Here's an example of such a interchange receipt. So interchange receipt is including the details of which customer, trunk company picked up the, the container. So more or less the same as EDI, but also photographs are included in the interchange receipt. And you can look at a cloud version of a high resolution version of a photo. In this case, the source the source is a poor quality, so it is not high quality. And this is sent as an email by PDF to relevant stakeholders. That could be the shipping line agent that received this automatically. It could be the trucking company that received this automatically, or it could be the end customer who will eventually be liable for damages while the container is in their possession. On top of that, the system can automatically generate some other convenient overviews that are often done manually between the depot and the shipping line agent. For example, it can generate automatically a daily stock recap that will tell how many empty containers are available for each facility that is provided. And it is distributed by size type. And there is an overview as well of uh, damage containers at the site in question. And you can see some trend lines as to how many damage containers that have been over a longer period of time in, at that site. So that means that the uh, shipping line agents have an easy overview to balance the number of available empty containers for export cargoes and also have an easy way to see whether they can initiate some repair work and then increase the number of available empty containers for export cargo. And this overview can be set up to be generated and emailed automatically to, for example, shipping line agents twice a day, once at eight o'clock in the morning and once in the afternoon, for example, uh, or it can be otherwise agreed between the two parties. So let us recap the benefits of the system. By using the system, all emails, Excel communication between the shipping line and the depot is completely replaced by automation digitized all typing from the both the office of the depot, but also the office of the shipping line. So for example, updating typing tracking container tracking data into an in-house tracking system, completely eradicated, removed, no need to do anymore. The quality of the reporting will be super high, mostly due to the fact that this container number OCR scanner will only pick a valid container number. So it is assuming that it is an ISO container number, it will do a check digit validation as part of the scanning process. And it will also check that the prefix is a valid prefix as pre-registered already. If in rare cases that a non-ISO container is handled, it has to be typed manually. And all this is super fast. So the delay between the physical receiving gate in and gate out of a container in a facility and until it is updated in the in-house tracking system of the shipping line is typically less than half an hour. And moreover, we are utilizing the features in the smartphone, predominantly the photos capabilities, so that in case of damages or the need to document the sound condition upon gate out, release of an empty container, it is easy to add photographs of the transaction and those photos are shared automatically with stakeholders via the interchange receipt. And then finally, as we saw an example for the stock report, we can also set up automatic reporting. So no need to ask the depot to report every day, how many empty containers do you have for each of the lines and send out by email every day. All that is 100% automatic. And the app, by the way, is in many languages. You see the settings, and there's a language selector, Arabic, French, Spanish, Italian, Portuguese, and a number of Asian languages, Vietnamese, Turkish, and more. That's it for today's intro to Gate Secure. Please contact arlshipping.com. My personal email is rb at arl-shipping.com for more details or for an online demo or for a, uh, we are willing to set up a tryout environment so you can try it for some days in your own environment. Have a nice day all.